From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is The Night Beat. Good evening, I'm Danielle Shank with your headlines for Thursday, November 7th. Body cam footage is shedding light on the domestic violence incident that led to the death of Rebecca Geiger, a special education teacher at Westside High School. Investigators say her husband, Rory Geiger, shot her before being killed by deputies on October 28th. The video shows Rory firing multiple shots, including one at deputies who returned fire. At one point, a flashbang was used to stun him. Inside, deputies found both Rory and Rebecca dead, while their two teenage daughters escaped unharmed. The case will go to a grand jury soon, so not all video footage has been released. No charges will be filed against the Omaha officer who shot and killed a man during a no-knock warrant. Police Chief Todd Schmaderer had recommended firing Officer Adam Vale for the death of Cameron Ford, an incident that led Omaha police to halt no-knock warrants and require additional training for officers. The grand jury found no evidence of a crime by Vale. New Jersey filmmaker Seth Ferranti is in the Seward County Jail after being arrested for transporting 437 pounds of suspected marijuana. Deputies stopped the 53-year-old in late October for driving on the shoulder. A search uncovered 14 boxes of marijuana. Ferranti, known for White Boy, previously served 25 years for his role in a criminal LSD enterprise. He now faces two new drug charges. In lighter news, the city of Lincoln is celebrating a new affordable housing project with a ribbon cutting ceremony. Union at Middle Creek near Southwest 27th and West A opened this summer with 194 apartments rented at or below 60% of the area's median income. Funded by $18 million in housing bonds, it supports Lincoln's goal of adding 5,000 affordable units by 2030. Lincoln is hosting its first ever international women's tennis tournament. The Lincoln Pro Women's Tennis Open features top female athletes from around the world, including Great Britain, Kenya, and U.S. college players. The week-long tournament at UNL's Sid and Hazel Dillon Tennis Center runs daily until Sunday. Players qualify through the International Tennis Federation, with the winner taking home $15,000. Exciting new arrivals at the Lincoln Children's Zoo, triplet red pandas. Zookeepers say it's rare for triplets to survive in the wild, but so far the mother seems to be doing well. Since red pandas are endangered, their birth is even more special. The trio is expected to be on display by next month. Rounding out your night beat is a check of the seven day forecast. You've been listening to The Night Beat. Watch, listen, and stream on the 1011 app on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.